Greetings, Southwest Florida. I'm Ray, Greatest Cape Administrator. Thank you for joining me and welcome to the Greatest Cape Events Rundown for the week ending Saturday, February 16, 2013. Since Friday is finally upon us, you're probably wondering, what am I going to do? Well, tonight, you might take the idea to head downtown Fort Myers and check out Music Walk. If you love Art Walk, you're going to love this too. Dozens of bands, as well as solo musicians, will perform throughout the downtown River District, and the music ranges in style from jazz and blues to acoustic, a little drumming as well. It all takes place from 7 until 11 p.m. tonight. Admission is free. Of course, you're invited. But wait, if downtown Fort Myers is further than you want to travel, you could opt for the annual Punta Gorda Banjo Bash, taking place at the Charlotte Harbor and Events Center in Punta Gorda from 6 until 9 p.m. tonight. Or, if you prefer, there's three different shows that also take place on Saturday. Tickets are just $10 to $15 each. And speaking of Saturday, Saturday morning, if you live in Cape Coral, you're going to want to get up bright and early so that you can attend both the Cape Coral Art League's annual yard sale taking place at the Art League on Cultural Park Boulevard until 4 p.m., where admission is free. But also, Saturday morning, you'll want to stop in at the Art Studio off Coronado Parkway in South Cape and enjoy the bead show as well, where you'll find a large selection of supplies for anyone, actually. Working in jewelry, glass beading, bead design, precious metals, uh, gold or silver smithing. The event is free, and of course, it's open to the public. Saturday evening in Southwest Florida, there's really only one place to be, and that's downtown Fort Myers to enjoy the Edison Festival of Lights Grand Parade. Southwest Florida's ever popular Festival of Light Grand Parade is a two-hour extravaganza, two hours plus, featuring uh, national as well as local marching bands, uh, floats, dignitaries, local government and uh, law enforcement officials as well. Uh, there's a Celebrity Grand Marshal. Admission is free, of course. Sunday afternoon, if you're up for some great music, then you'll want to head to Fort Myers and check out the Nashville Bluegrass folk band, Harpeth Rising. Voted best local band in Nashville by the newspaper The Tennessean, Harpeth Rising features four classically trained musicians who create a unique sound that mixes folk, bluegrass, Celtic, and classical. It all takes place at the Americana Community Music Association's listening room, and tickets are just $15 each, uh, $10 if you're a CMA member. If you'd like to find out more details about any of the events you've heard me mention in today's Greatest Cape Events Rundown, or you simply want to find out other things that are going on here in Southwest Florida, be sure to stop by greatestcape.net and check out the Southwest Florida and Cape Coral events calendar, where you'll always find a wealth of things taking place. Uh, while you're on our site, be sure to register, set up your own calendar. If there's an event you'd like to submit, click upon our link instructing you to do so on our home page about midway down in the left-hand column. If there's something in particular you want to make certain I mention, please send me an email. Ray at greatestcape.net is how you reach me. The weather's uh, cooler, but very pleasant. We hope you'll take some time this weekend to get out and enjoy what's going on here in our lovely corner of the world. We uh, welcome our residents uh, who are part-timers as well as the snowbirds, I guess. Thanks for being with us. We hope you'll enjoy all that Southwest Florida has to offer you. Until next Friday, when we'll do all of this again, we hope uh, we'll catch you between now and then online. Have an awesome weekend.